Welcome financial enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of Amateur Money. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cryptocurrencies, a digital universe that's revolutionizing the way we think about money. If you've been curious about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins, then buckle up because we're taking you on a wild ride. But first things first, let's get the basics covered. What exactly is cryptocurrency, and how does it work? We'll be answering these questions and more, so stay tuned. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest financial content. We love hearing from our viewers, so make sure to leave your thoughts and comments below. Now, let's hop on the blockchain train and explore the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography for security and operates on a decentralized network called the blockchain. Unlike traditional currencies, such as the US dollar or euro, cryptocurrency is not regulated by a central authority like a government or financial institution. The most well-known cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, which was introduced in 2009 by an unknown person or group using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin's popularity has since spawned the creation of thousands of other cryptocurrencies, often referred to as altcoins, such as Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin. The blockchain technology that powers cryptocurrencies is a decentralized, digital ledger that records all transactions. Each transaction is grouped with others into a block, which is then verified by miners, who solve complex mathematical problems. Once a block is verified, it's added to the existing blockchain, creating a permanent and transparent record of the transaction. Cryptocurrencies offer several advantages over traditional currencies, including faster and cheaper transactions, increased security and privacy, and the ability to operate without a central authority. However, they also come with risks, such as volatility, lack of regulation, and the potential for fraudulent activities. Overall, cryptocurrency is an exciting and innovative development in the world of finance, but it's important to approach it with caution and a thorough understanding of its technology and risks. How do cryptocurrencies work? At the heart of every cryptocurrency is the blockchain, a decentralized, digital ledger that records all transactions. When a transaction is made, it is grouped with others into a block. These blocks are then verified by miners, who solve complex mathematical problems using specialized software and hardware. Once a block is verified, it is added to the existing blockchain, creating a permanent and transparent record of the transaction. The blockchain is a distributed ledger, meaning that it is maintained by a network of users rather than a central authority. This makes it highly secure and resistant to tampering, as any attempts to alter the ledger would require the consensus of the entire network. In addition to processing transactions, some cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, offer the ability to create and execute smart contracts, self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into the code. This opens up a range of new possibilities, such as decentralized applications DAPPs, and decentralized autonomous organizations DAOs. Overall, the workings of cryptocurrencies are complex, but their underlying technology is revolutionary and has the potential to transform many industries. Understanding how they work is essential for anyone interested in investing in or using cryptocurrencies. The Big Players, Bitcoin and Ethereum Bitcoin and Ethereum are two of the most popular and widely used cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, created in 2009 by an unknown person or group using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, is often referred to as the digital gold of the crypto world. It was the first ever cryptocurrency and remains the largest and most valuable by market capitalization. Bitcoin's primary use is as a store of value and a means of exchange for goods and services. Ethereum, on the other hand, was launched in 2015 by Vitalik Buterin and offers more than just a digital currency. It is a blockchain platform that allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications DAPPs, and smart contracts. Its native currency is called Ether ETH. One of the key differences between Bitcoin and Ethereum is their underlying technology. Bitcoin uses a proof-of-work consensus algorithm, which requires miners to solve complex mathematical problems to verify transactions and add blocks to the blockchain. Ethereum, on the other hand, uses a proof-of-stake algorithm, which involves users staking their Ether as collateral to verify transactions and create new blocks. 
both Bitcoin and Ethereum have a strong and active community of users and developers, and their respective cryptocurrencies have seen significant growth in value over the years. However, they also come with risks and challenges, such as scalability issues and regulatory uncertainty. Investors and users of cryptocurrency should carefully consider the strengths and weaknesses of each platform before investing or using them for transactions. Investing in Cryptocurrencies If you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies, here are a few tips to keep in mind. 1. Do your research. Before diving into the crypto world, learn about different cryptocurrencies, their use cases, and the technology behind them. Be sure to research the reputation of the exchanges you plan to use, as well as the security and fees associated with each. 2. Start small. Invest only what you can afford to lose, as the crypto market can be highly volatile. It's important to be prepared for significant price fluctuations, which can happen quickly and without warning. 3. Diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Consider investing in multiple cryptocurrencies to spread the risk. It's also a good idea to diversify your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. 4. Use a reputable exchange. Choose a well-established and secure cryptocurrency exchange for buying, selling, and storing your digital assets. Look for exchanges that offer robust security measures, such as two-factor authentication and cold storage. 5. Stay informed. Keep up with news and developments in the crypto space to make informed decisions about your investments. Be aware that regulations and legal frameworks for cryptocurrencies are still evolving, and the regulatory environment can change quickly. It's important to note that the regulatory landscape varies significantly between countries, with some having more developed and stringent regulations, while others have more relaxed or even non-existent rules. This variation should be taken into consideration when investing in cryptocurrencies. Remember, investing in cryptocurrencies can be both exciting and risky, so make sure to do your research and invest wisely. If you're new to investing, it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or professional. And that's a wrap on our episode about cryptocurrency basics. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating world of digital currencies and how they work. As you can see, cryptocurrencies have the potential to revolutionize the way we handle money and conduct transactions. Remember, investing in cryptocurrencies can be both exciting and risky, so it's important to approach it with caution and do your research before investing. We hope our tips for investing in cryptocurrencies will help you make informed decisions about your investments. Thank you for watching Amateur Money. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative financial content. We appreciate your support and love hearing from our viewers, so please leave your thoughts and comments below. Until next time, happy investing!